you know, before we jump into the meat here, I think it's probably worthwhile for me providing a bit of a, a dealer perspective on this. Yep. And I'm going to hit on a couple of things that Ryan opened with here. And I apologize. I'll probably repeat a little bit of, of what you mentioned here, David, but you know, I think it's important, right? So Ryan, you mentioned when we got into this that we know leads are on the decline, right? You know, every store I go into, why are my lead counts down? What's going on with my lead counts? Well, in light of that, isn't it important for us to understand how we're handling those leads and what's happening with those leads? So where are the missed opportunities? When are they occurring? What model, what geography, et cetera? Now, these are great questions, but uh, historically based on tools that I've had at my disposal, it's always been hard to answer those questions. In, in my time in the car business, we've relied on CRM data to really kind of tell us a story. The problem, and this is no knock on CRM because they, they're great, valuable tools, they can be somewhat, you know, one-dimensional. In some cases, like when we work with our OEMs, they may give us that two-dimensional view because they may say, look, you sold, uh, uh, you know, X number of cars in your marketplace, uh, but in your, in your competing like-make dealers are selling this, so you're not as effective or you're more effective in that marketplace. But what we're gonna talk about today is really that three-dimensional view, uh, where you can see exactly what's going on in your marketplace, not only against the competitors that sell the same kind of cars as you, but also the ones that sell different makes. So really getting an idea of what that, you know, what that loss looks like. We wanted to, to figure out a way to eliminate the, the aggravation of, of historic data and, uh, and really the aggravation of kind of that one dimensional view. So when, when you look at this, like everybody can go into their CRM and, and pull out what their lead volumes look like over a period in, you know, in this case, like seven, eight months. Anybody can do that in CRM. Where, where you start seeing a different story and, and, and where I think, you know, uh, dealers like Ben and others see is that they start to see trends on that right-hand side, not just on their success because of that, you know, that same like one-eye view, but you start to see, are you doing better in the marketplace of not losing those opportunities that you have on your left over on, on your right? This usually is the dealerships more interesting, like they have more questions around this, but we can break it up. Like you can look in your CRM around, you know, how effective or ineffective your lead providers are. But when you start layering in the, the lost sales around that, and in this case, you can see the light gray bar is uh, of your, of your, let's, you know, let's pick on true car. Uh, of the leads that came in on True Car, uh, you had uh, 31 of them purchase the same kind of cars that you sell, but from other dealers in that marketplace. And then the dark gray bars, they may have not purchased, they didn't purchase your make, they ended up purchasing other makes. Mm. And so that, you know, when you start looking at that across the board, this, this doesn't really mean, hey, go beat up on your lead providers. This means, maybe you need to change your process or like the area of responsibility or who's handling the leads and that kind of stuff. It starts that conversation, I think. So maybe you guys could speak to the geographic aspect of this. You're able to really see, I guess, defection rates as a specific to your, your zip codes. Everyone can see their effectiveness again at their dealership. If you pull up, you know, your zip or, or some kind of geo, within your, within your CRM. But this really, cause I'll tell you one of the things I get absolutely just tired of when I talk to dealers, they go, well, I own my backyard. Like I, I do everything and, and am I, you know, in the neighborhood around, like we own the market, blah, 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 blah. But they don't, they don't have any real factual data that supports that. And in this case, what we find in a, in a lot of cases is those backyards, they sell well in there but they're also losing uh, a ton, not only in their own make, but in their, in their, you know, in other competitive models. So what I'm looking at, you know, any one of the stores that I'm involved with, the top salesman looks awesome, but is he really awesome? 
And that's, that's where TC analysis really tells me, is that person awesome? Uh, and we're living in this digital world, right, where all this data is at our fingertips. But it's harder than, than you know, anyone, I think, is, is willing to admit to actually extract a story from that data. And frankly, this is, this is my lead in and pitch. And it's like this TCA analysis is able to put that data at our fingertips. It's actionable data. It's data that you can work with. Ben, that's a great point. I say that a lot in our conversations. We have so much data, so much information, and it's great to be able to understand it. But if you can't act on it, then in my, I would say it's useless. Thanks for your interest in this Dealer Refresh webinar, Lost Sales, Why They Happen and How to Reduce Them, featuring David Meta from Urban Science and Ben Robertasio from Mori's Automotive Group. For access to the complete version of this edited webinar, where you can learn how to continuously grow your market share using the latest methods of exposing holes within your dealership's operations and the sources responsible for lost sales, text lost sales to triple five triple eight or go to dealerrefresh.com slash lost sales. Premium members may access this video and more great information like this by visiting the premium member section on dealerrefresh.com. For more information about premium membership, text DR Premium to triple five triple eight or look for the premium member options when visiting dealerrefresh.com. Good. It looks like we have, uh, <laughs> getting, <laughs> let me, let me get those guys. Uh, that's, um, Lindsay's camera again. All right. So <laughs> try that again, David, Ben, welcome to today's webinar. It's great to have you here.